Most current mobile augmented reality applications combine a live video feed from the phone's camera with a 3D graphics layer. A situated simulation, on the other hand, is a non-mixed, clean-screen solution where the 3D environment takes advantage of all the screen space. Let us follow a sequence of a situated simulation in use. Here's a reconstruction of the 1200-year-old Useberg Viking ship burial scene in Norway. As the user is positioned at a distance from the grave mound, the 3D version of the hill can easily be identified in the parallel graphics model on the screen. And as the user moves the phone, the perspective inside the model is updated correspondingly. When activated, the virtual environment dissolves into a 3D reconstruction of the Viking ship and its content as it might have looked in the year 834. When the user starts to move around the mound, the perspective on the screen changes accordingly. When ascending the mound, the ship is gradually observed from above. The physical shape of the mound then serves as a virtual glass dome for viewing and exploring the digital reconstruction on location. The iPhone's GPS, accelerometer and electronic compass support vertical and horizontal movement. They make it possible to turn the phone into a virtual window with which one can easily navigate and observe the parallel past world. The uh, Inventio project is about digital genre design and a situated simulation is a potential genre exploiting the convergence of mobility, high bandwidth and positioning and orientation technology. And we are particularly focused on finding the rhetorical conventions and the narrative structures for how to organize and shape these new forms of expression and experience. Audio narration, detailed views of smaller objects and transparency are activated via the balloon links, which is a separate layer that can be turned on and off. The detailed 3D objects have been scanned from real one-to-one -one reconstructed artifacts, thus displaying their original appearance. The main part of the development has been done in Unity for iPhone, a game design tool where the scenes and all the behaviors are set up. Unity then exports an Xcode iPhone project ready to build and run. But we have done a lot of modifications to it in order to access some desirable platform features, such as the GPS and Compass. Several other topics and places are currently being tested, such as the old Mission Dolores and the Great Earthquake and Fire in 1906, both in San Francisco. However, a loosely coupled augmented reality platform like Situated Simulations is not limited to the past. It may also display alternative scenarios of both the present and the future.